All right, let's take a look at Triggs Chapter 1, Practice Test 2. Um, so, basically starting off, basically something we've done for four or five years. I'm going to go ahead, and the key here is I must distribute that negative sign through there. And that's always the mistake. Kids always distribute it through to this first one, but you forget to do it to this second one. The opposite of a negative one is a positive one. Now distribute through here, 4n minus 6. Put together like terms before you move anybody. Now, again, at this point, you can move all variables on one side, all numbers to the other. The order and which way you move them doesn't matter. I just always choose to move the smaller variable. That's just me. That way I never have a negative variable. I'm left with 1 here n minus 6. Now I have to isolate my variable, get it by itself. So I add 6, add 6, and I have 7 is what n is equal to. Problem 1. Problem 2. I'm going to distribute the negative 3 through. Negative 3 times negative 2n is positive 6n. Negative 3 times that 6 is minus 6. Negative 4n plus 1. Again, I am going to move this negative 4n over. So I'm going to add 4n to both sides. Gives me 10n minus 6 equals 1. Now let's move the 6 over. 10n is equal to 7. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. I have 7 tenths or 0.7. All right, let's combine all the material over on the right-hand side. 3n minus an n is n. Whoops. Better back that up a second because positive 1 and negative 5 is a negative 4. Now move my 7 over. Subtract n. Subtract n. 7n equals negative 4. Now divide by 7. Divide by 7. Negative 4 sevenths is our answer. Um, decimal wise, uh, what is that? A five, seven, one, four, two, eight. It's a repeating. It's actually sevenths are quite interesting. They repeat, uh, this long number. If it were one seventh, it would be one, four, two, eight, five, seven. If it were two sevenths, it'd be two, eight, five, seven, one, four. So it has this cool repeating pattern. That's how I sort of knew what that was. Math is interesting. I'm telling you. Here we go. Distribute the 4 through. 4x, 4 through to 2, minus 8. Now here you got to make sure it's a negative 3 that goes through. So it's negative 3x. Negative 3 times the negative 2 is positive 6. That's where I expect the mistake to happen. Now I have 4x minus 3x is x. Lose 8, gain 6. You've lost 2. Equals negative 10. And now simply add 2 to both sides. And you'll have your final answer for number 4 of negative eight. There's the first four problems for you.